I play football. Yeah, professional footballer. Kick balls, kick people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm based in the USA. Been there for about four years in Minnesota. Still wants to go on my words. It's Michael Boxall. And I'm uh, just moving to the US. I've been in Europe for the last six years or so. And we both play for the New Zealand All Whites together. I'm Nico. And I'm Michael. And this is our world. Big brother. Little brother. <laughs> Not really. I think the age gap was like big enough. It's like four years, so it wasn't too annoying. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they did the dance five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> when we go on tours, we yeah, first time sharing a room since we were teenagers. Obviously, we spent a lot of our even teenage and adult years on opposite sides of the world, so it's cool to, to catch up in those sorts of environments when, I mean, obviously, you're big on playing for your country, and to see your, your brother doing that is, is, is pretty cool. It's spicy now, huh? Oh, now the comp can start. When you share a room now as adults. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pet peeves? No, I wouldn't say so. I'd just prefer if he doesn't get sick. <laughs> like last time, but... I think I got like food poisoning or something the last time, and then, yeah, spent a fair bit of time in the bathroom, and then a few days later, as I was feeling better, the little guy got it, so... <laughs> yeah, not ideal, but hopefully it won't happen good. again. Yeah. yeah. So that... <sighs> I'm part of that handshake. <laughs> I knew that. I think for us growing up, I didn't have too many teammates that were from the islands, but now it's cool to see a few more on the national team. Obviously, our good mate, uh, Bill Tuoloma, uh, is a bit of a baller out in Portland, and then one of the young boys, Marco Stamanich, plays in Denmark. There's a few others as well, Ingham Brothers, uh, Andre de Jong. I think there's just a natural gravitation towards rugby in this country. You do what you see, and if that's the main thing you see on TV, then but I think as football grows in this country and they start to see, hopefully, start to see it a bit more on TV, then that'll just help the sport. And naturally, Islanders are very athletic and I think it's underutilized within the sport of football. The general notion here is like, you, know, you play either rugby league or rugby union, but when you get Pacific Islanders that are breaking the cycle and going, look, we don't have to play that sport, uh, I guess it gives the other ones or the young ones coming through like, hey, okay, so we can go through another route to make it as a pro athlete rather than rugby league or rugby union. World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, the yeah. stage. We start our World Cup qualifying path um, to hopefully end up in Qatar at the end of the year. Yeah, a lot of big opportunities for for us personally, but also like New Zealand football to, to get back on that map again. It's been good. Yeah, I just was away up in Mangafai for a week and then Waiheke with the family for a week. Just getting a little physio, a little bit of rehab. Um, this is for my hip at the moment, just some hot colds. I've had a adductor groin issue for the last three, four months kind of ended my season with it and was just surviving. So yeah, the off season is a perfect time to let it rest, recover, um, get stronger, and hopefully, yeah, a bit more balance to my body and hopefully for the next season, I'll be flying. I, I love this off season for me. It's, yeah, it's paradise, you know, time with family. For me, I can be happy wherever, but who is home? You know, who's here? It's the people that kind of make a place. Can I say listen? <laughs> hey, they're my boys, but hey, they work hard and hey, you get it. But we get our hard work and the jeans from her, so. <laughs> oh, good combo. <laughs> Mum and dad, so yeah. A little uh, topsy turvy, just trying to put back into the old childhood rooms and <laughs> yeah, just like the good old days. <laughs> With me and my wife, we've got both kids in the bed, so sleep's not great when you've got four in, four in a king bed, but it's, no, we're, we're lucky that our parents can, can still fit us under one roof, and yeah, free babysitting is, is massive when we come <laughs> back. That's the number one perk for, for being here. I've always looked up to him, having that age difference, and seeing him, he kind of paved the way for me and helped decide 
me what I wanted to do and so sort of to now get here and be my own man and you know play next to him is yeah really cool.